I Believe series. Coming to you from the St. Jude Apostolate Yaba. Season 10, I Believe in the Forgiveness of Sins. Episode 9, Words of Absolution. He sent the Holy Spirit among us. Continuing our reflection on the words of absolution, we recall that the major reason why we are reflecting on this is that you may look beyond the priest to know that the source of the forgiveness received, the source of forgiveness granted and received at the sacrament of reconciliation is God and not the priest. God, the Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection of his Son, has sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. The work of forgiveness is the work of the Blessed Trinity. The work of redemption is the work of Blessed Trinity. The work of creation is the work of Blessed Trinity. That is why the words of absolution make, make reference to God, the Father of mercies, the death and resurrection of his son Jesus, and then the coming of the Holy Spirit. We roll. God, the Father of mercies, through the death and the resurrection of his son, has reconciled the world to himself and has sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Forgiveness of sins would be impossible without the action of the Holy Spirit. In fact, without the Holy Spirit, the death of Jesus would have been an event of the past. It would have been a one-time event but it is the Holy Spirit, through his action, that perpetuates the death of Jesus, the event of the death and resurrection of Christ, that it is no longer what just happened about 2,000 years ago and ended there, but what happened that moment that went to the past before that time and was effective in the present when it just happened and remains effective even in the future so that whenever we celebrate, whenever we recall, it is effective it is through the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus himself, before he began his public ministry, we see that at the beginning, during and at the end of his public ministry, everything was under the power of the Holy Spirit. At his baptism, Matthew chapter 3, the Spirit came upon him. And in the temple, in Luke chapter 4, he proclaimed that the Spirit anointed him, that the ability to set captives free, to give sight to the blind, to proclaim a year of the Lord's favor, that all these activities will be under the power, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Before his death, he promised his apostles the Holy Spirit. And then, once he rose from the dead, he sent the Holy Spirit on them specifically for the forgiveness of sins. John chapter 20 from verse 19 to 23. <sighs> Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sin you forgive are forgiven. Specifically for the forgiveness of sins. Which means without the Holy Spirit, the apostles would not be able to forgive any sin. And then on the day of Pentecost, he sent the Spirit upon them fully. He had asked them to wait, not to do anything, 
until they had received the fullness of the Holy Spirit. As of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8. And when in chapter 2 they received him, then the ministry continued. When the penitent comes, the priest welcomes the penitent. And from his welcome note, he already points to the action of the Holy Spirit. What does he say to the penitent? He says, may God, who has enlightened every heart, help you know your sins and trust in his mercy. God enlightens every heart through the power of who? Through the power of the Holy Spirit. In the first place, it is actually the Holy Spirit that moves the penitent to come to confession. Christ rightly said that the Spirit will convict the world of sin. We make you know you are guilty. And then you are troubled. Then you step forward to confess your sins. It is the action of the Holy Spirit. Forgiveness given and received comes from God, the Father of mercies, the mercy of God, through the death and the resurrection of Christ his Son, and then through the power of the Holy Spirit. My dear friend, look beyond the priest. Look beyond the priest. Look at the mercy of God made manifest in the death and resurrection of his Son, Jesus, and then perpetuated and made ever-present through the power of the Holy Spirit. The church teaches that the sacrament of reconciliation is inspired, supported, and guided by the Holy Spirit. May God, through the prayers of St. Thaddeus, meet you at the points of your needs and bless you, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.